you for coming Thanks. in. Great, okay. Absolutely. Looking forward to... Meet Steve, guys. a recent college graduate who just landed his first job. Steve got a great education, but had he not learned to interview well, he might still be looking for work. Here are the job interview do's and don'ts that help Steve get his first offer. The way you dress for the interview says a lot about how seriously you take the job. Assuming you're not interviewing to play soccer or to be a lifeguard, business attire is always the best choice. Had Steve come late for his interview, he might never have gotten the job. Hi, uh, sorry, uh, I have a meeting with Miss Bayless. Um, really sorry. But, uh... Oh. <sighs> Arriving early lets you stay calm and gives you time to prepare should you want to go over your notes. Hi, I'm Stephen Jones. I'm a little early. Great. Ms. Bayless will be with you shortly. Job interviews are stressful. And when we're nervous, our bodies do some pretty funny things, whether or not we're aware of it. Had Steve not been able to be still and calm, he wouldn't have seemed so confident. In the interview, try to have good posture, keep your hands away from your face and hair, and maintain good eye contact. It will help you seem confident, whether or not you actually feel that way. So, Mr. Jones, we should talk about you, assuming you know something about us and what this job entails. Uh, well, um, I know your company's Acme Design, so obviously you design Acmes, right? <laughs> and provided I'm not mistaken, you're looking for a sales guy? Marketing, actually. Uh, there's a difference. Always research the company ahead of time. I know Acme Design is a leader in creating custom software for insurance agencies. Understand the job description, provided there is one. You're hiring for an entry-level position to assist the marketing director. And ask intelligent questions that show your interest in the company. I notice you don't currently market your products to companies outside your region. I'd be very interested to work on that assuming that's a direction in which you'd like to go. Had Steve not shown so much initiative, he might not have been the boss's first choice. The interviewer will likely ask you a few standard questions like, Supposing I hire you, why do you feel this is the best job for you? Well, um, let's see. Uh, well, I'm unemployed, so I'm looking for a job that offers a high salary and great benefits. I'm really interested in marketing in the software industry, and Acme seems like a company with a lot of opportunity for advancement, provided you think I'm the right person for the job. Following these tips won't guarantee you the job, but provided that you're qualified, they will give you the best chance for getting the job you want, just like Steve.